Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Mario Kart Tour. Continuing the night tour. Not much to say about that, but Mario is doing a sick pose. Oh, whoops. Sorry if I hit the microphone. It might have been a kind of awkward. Anyway. Um, yeah. Nab it. Me. Kinda epic, not gonna lie. If I have time, I'll play Sonic 3, but, uh, my, my stream times are kind of inconsistent lately. i kind of just been chilling, you know? Weird days lately. I want to keep up more with the YouTube channel, but it's kind of hard. I, I've been having left time to, like, put together the videos and get them ready for YouTube, so... Kind of doing what I can. Though I suppose it would probably make more sense to put out Mario Kart Tour before I put out the Sonic episodes, since those might take a bit more time to, uh wrangle together something for Okay, well, that was cool. Next up is Rosalina. Oh, wait. Did, no, I didn't do this. Passing the rings. You gotta say, having a night tour is a pretty cool theme. I think I said that last time, though. But, still. Okay. Was that supposed to be challenged? Sure. I like the neon Mario Kart sign. It's pretty cool. Why does that building just say Donkey Kong? Like, what is it specifically that makes it Donkey Kong? I, I don't know. Bro, you can't just have a sign say Donkey Kong and then that's it. Well, what do they sell there? Donkey Kong merch? The store is just named after him with no other context. No need for introduction, just call it Donkey Kong. It's genius. Ooh, that Rosalina is kinda cool. Okay, eh, Mid. But Bowser Jr. is cool, so. Let's go! Yep. Oh, we got a pipe. Yo ho! Um, frickin', I don't know. This car. We got the Speed Racer looking vehicle. Okay. Down in Vancouver. I don't know, something happens there. Yeah, damn. My light isn't bright enough.
bruh. Lightning and then hit by a blooper. What a wild turn of events. Okay, it'll screw off. Bro thought he could hit me with a banana. No, sir. Okay. That's it. I am gonna, like, freaking beat you guys up. Bro. Stop being cringy. Okay. Man, this turret act is kind of difficult for combos. Can I hit that guy at least? That's my wish. Nope. I narrowly missed him. Sadly. Yep, Ice Bro. He's pretty cool. They should add frickin' Sledge Bro to this game. He'd be epic. Oh. Well, I would say he was Night Donkey Kong. Which, by the way, he is sick as heck. But, I mean, not Night. Sorry, I had a Gladiator. But, we got Pink Old Peach with the coin box over here. So, yeah. Sorry, we're gonna have to pass on you right now. Yeah, sure, why not? Um, boost this thing, too. I mean, it sees occasional usage. Moon me, you highway! Neat track. Oh, the T version of this is interesting, because you're going on top of this building thing. Ah, you... No. You know what? I got may have gotten the coin box, but no. They screwed my combo too early. I have to restart. That's how it all usually is for that stuff. Yeah, this is a T-track. Like, I should be getting the combos. That guy just decided, you know what? I'm gonna make your life hell early on. And he will pay for that. Oh, I think that was Cat Mario. The music is pretty jamming here, honestly. I said it last time, but I, I said that this was one of my most forgotten Mario tra card tracks for some reason. Like, I don't know why. I just don't remember that this one from Mario Kart Wii exists. When I do, like, most other Mario Kart Wii tracks. Then again, I forget Dry Dry uh, Ruin doesn't... I forget that track exists too, but... They're both not bad tracks, I just don't remember them. For some reason. No, 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 no! Oh, my combo died there. Because I didn't make it on top. Well, it was almost 99, so... Like, good enough. Good to see the Sunshine Parts brand. It's staying strong there. Bruh, why would I not pick her? She has a coin box. That's like the best item in the game. For getting combos, bruh. Also, I, I don't care about the Force Kate. Um, Pink Old Peach isn't mid. She's actually awesome, and I like her. Unironically, because she's funny. I just think she's cool. Screw the pink old peach hater squad. She's much better than baby Rosalina. That's what I have to say about her. All my homies hate baby Rosalina. Okay, we got PD Piranha Gold. In the new track, which takes place in Rome. I think it's called Roma Vante or something, I don't know. But it's definitely gonna be on the booster pass if it's a new Mario Kart Tour track. 
if I have to guess, like, all the new MK2 tracks are gonna... freaking be in the game, but I don't really actually know. Just a reasonable guess. Bro, why, why are they always set out to ruin everything about my combo? Like, not like I'm gonna keep the whole track anyway. See evidence right there, but like... It just is disheartening, man. They're just trying to ruin it. Wait, is that a Pianta statue, or was I just seeing things? Hit the barrel. Rome is pretty cool. Okay, well, good thing I still have that banana. Also, after I finish Mario Kart today, I'm gonna have some pasta and maybe play Sonic and Knuck. Uh, sorry, not Sonic and Knuck. Son Sonic 3, maybe. Bye bye. Well, we'll have to see. It's kind of a weird day for me today. Like usual. I oh, wait, no, that's not a Pianza at all. What, am what was I seeing? I don't know. Uh, it was reminding me of a freaking um, Delfino like, square statue. But I couldn't see anything, so... Or... Yep. It's because they wanted a lazy peach remodel. Baby peach remodel. And that would take effort to make an actual character. Oh hell, if she has to be a baby, at least give her the clothes she had as a kid, and not the one she has as Rosalina Rosalina. Aim for first place? Oh crap, it's one of these. Well, I get to be frickin' Funky Kong for once, and that's epic. Although, seeing Funky Kong now, it's hard not to imagine the Donkey Kong cartoon voice, even though it's like the most stereotypical surfer Jamaican accent voice I've ever heard in my life. Like, it still sounds good. Why do the freaking ramps on this track look like churros? I swear, it looks like a churro. Also, whenever he, Funky Kong says that one voice line, it sounds like he's just, My eye! Bro, is like shattering shards of his sunglasses into his eye as he's racing. He's going to fast, man. My eye! My bodacious dude over here is going crazy. My eye! Yeah, he said it. Yeah, that looks like a churro, see? Totally. Actually, that's a freaking poem, I think. That's what that is. I mean, I knew it wasn't actually supposed to be a churro, but like... They gave me those vibes. What can I say? Wow, these this 100 race thing is a lot faster on this one than it was on all the other times I did this. I'm already at 100 almost. I mean, first place almost. Come on, I need to get first. Woo! Oh yeah, I forgot it just ends now. Oh, Team Sonic Racing? That's cool. It's not as good as also Transformed, but honestly, it's not like a bad game. It's fun. Has some good characters, but it could use a lot more good characters. That's my opinion of it. Like, I like the tracks. I think they're cool. The team gimmick is kind of neat, I guess. Like, I like how you can use your team to go faster. Pauline. And, yeah, I don't know. It's a decent game. Not crazy, but... I like the remixes. 
That's probably the best part. It has some good song. And yeah, Silver and Blaze is cool. So it's funny that they have Vector on their team. Like, they couldn't think of a better third pillar? I don't know. Um, Freaking Chip. Chip from Sonic Unleashed would be a better third character for that team than Vector, man. Like, it's all because they didn't want to have Charmy and Espio in the game. I mean, if you have to include one of the Chaotix, I would say Vector, because he's the GOAT of the whole team. And he's also the leader of Team Chaotix, so... He's the backbone of the team, bro. Carrying all of them. I'm not saying SPO and Chummy aren't fun, though, but like... I mean, fair enough, if you have to pick one... The bigger injustice is them just hating Cream for some reason and not using her in literally anything. What did they do to Cream? Yeah. Oh yeah, Marine. That would be a good pick. And, or Cream. Because Cream and Blaze have a... You know, Cream and Blaze have a good relationship, and then they just killed Cream, so now they have nobody to bounce off of. Like, come on. Really? I mean, Cream isn't, like, my favorite or anything, but I thought she was a funny character. Think of all the Cream fans. Waluigi Stadium, the GOAT. Wicked Topaz. It kind of fits Waluigi. Yeah, they were fun. Also, I recommend Rush Adventure because Marine is the funny little creature, and honestly, she's in like my top 10 Sonic characters, maybe? I don't know. I think Marine is funny. And she's even more funny in the Archie comic. I don't know, like, I know she's kind of annoying, but, like, she's annoying in, like, a funny way. I, I don't know. Freaking Australian little creature just, like, ruining everything. Maybe it's, like, the Pikmin fans that like Louie. Like, I don't know, Louie... I, I called him Luigi. Louie is an absolute demon. Like, he's a menace. But, I guess that's why people like him. I don't know. A lot of people hate him. Which, I mean, probably fair, but... I mean, I'm sure he's, like, funny. Speaking of Pikmin, you should play, um... You should get Pikmin on the Switch. The demo is out, and I hear it's really cool. I've been watching my nephew play it lately. Got a cute dog as a playable character. I mean, not a playable character, but like as your main companion. Also, um, what else was I gonna say? Oh yeah, um, maybe I can try to find one later, but I don't know. I mean, Charlie's gotta be on like Amazon or GameStop's website or something. I would try that. Because, like, usually GameStop's website has something if I want to buy it. On, like, the Nintendo DS. Unless it's, like, a really obscure game. Like, it's Sonic. It can't be that hard to find, right? Oh, yeah. Pikmin is a goaded series and one of Nintendo's, like, main goats. And, uh... The hope it becomes even bigger. Like Pikmin 4 is showing like great signs for the franchise right now. A lot of people are starting to play it now. Finally. It gets the recognition it deserves. Donkey Kong Jr. Um this card I guess. I don't oh it's a taxi. Couldn't tell by the color scheme. And the manta ray thing. That's fair. 
My uh, GameStop online does have um, retro games. At least um, it has Kingdom Hearts coded. I haven't bought it yet, but I do plan on ordering it eventually. I want to get the game. I'm still sad my I lost my copy of 358 Days though. Don't know what happened to it. And I had been taking pretty good care of it too. And I, I made it like halfway through the game. Bro, just screw off with your... Uh, trying to ruin my combos over here. Also, that's cool, but which version of Unleashed? Are you, do you have a Xbox Series X? Because you could play the original game. I mean, sorry, the HD version, and not, like, the bad version. Oh, I could give you an APK of the Mobile Sonic Only, and you can play that in all of its glory. Clearly. The best game ever, Sonic Unleashed Mobile. With good sprites and not much else. Bro, I hate getting hit in this game. I don't know why. Bro. And then I hit myself with a green shell. Okay, um, that kind of sucks. Oh, okay, that works. That actually works. Yo. Oh, you have to put it back. True. It is pretty cool that they brought that back, Junior. I, I want I want them to put him in a new world game because I, I I mean I he's a funny little guy. Like I know he's kind of redundant and weird, like a weird kind of choice, but uh, it'd, be, it'd be good as a deep cut. Help! Put Stanley the Bugman in a game. I don't care. Just put him in any game. It would be funny. It'd be hilarious. Stanley fans would be winning, bro. I know his name's not actually Stanley the Bugman, but I don't care. Like... That's just what I'm used to calling him. Okay. Seems easy enough. That's okay, Big. You're not the only one who mixed it up because, um, this game can't even get that right. There's a card called, like, the 8-bit card, but it doesn't look 8-bit at all. And I'm like, bro, Nintendo, why are you cringe? I'll have to show you later, after this race right here. And also, thanks for stopping by, everyone. Having a lot of fun so far. The rainbow water is kind of cool. I mean, say what you will about Tor, but it's got some good, good character picks. Like you got Nabbit, who you know, honestly should have been way more spin-offs than he ended up being in, in like. The 20, the late 2010s era of Mario, like the early, late 2010s, like, you, you, 
he seemed like a shoe in to be in a ton of spin-off games, but he only ended up really being in, like, I don't know, Mario Golf World Tour, I think? He wasn't playable in anything else. Like, come on, Nabbit was cool. And NSMB. I liked Nabbit. He's a funny-looking character. He's cute. Justice for my goat, Nabbit. They gotta put him in something again. Oh yeah, I want to sh show the cringe cart. Where is it? I have it. Just gotta find- Oh, there we go. 8-bit type frame. Does that look 8-bit to you? Because it just looks like a cringe pixels added to a regular card. I don't know, man. That's- that's 16-bit, bruh. Or a poor imitation of 16-bit, anyway. Cringe. Okay. This shy guy is pretty cool. Well, I got that shell combo, so that's kind of sick. You know, I'm still kind of worried about the state of Mario voice actors right now, because... People were saying that Mario didn't sound like Charles Martinet in, like, the Mario Wonder trailer, and I can kind of see that. And same thing with, like, the Wario... The... WarioWare, um, movie trailer, there was this guy that was just like, EXCELLENT, and it didn't sound anything like Charles Martinet, like, at all. So, hopefully those are placeholders. Or that was just the direct announcer saying that or something, but I don't really think that's the case. Because, like, why would the direct announcer just randomly do Warrior's voice? Like, that's weird. I mean, that that theory could be true, but, like, I don't know. Please. If Charles Martinet's gotta leave, he's, he's gotta retire on his own merits. Don't, I hope they didn't just replace him. Like, they wouldn't be that cringe, right? Don't replace my goat, man. He was just in the frickin' Mario movie, and he did great. Like... Bruh, blue shell at the end moment. I survived. I don't care that it's called spiny shell. Nobody will call it that, ever. Oh, well, I guess we're done already. Um, alright, that works out for me. I'll just wait, like... Eh, two days for the next stream. That makes- that- that sounds right to me. But first, I'm gonna open the gift boxes and stuff. And then, we'll- I'll do Sonic 3, like, after this. Just gotta have pasta first, cause... Oh, hey, it's right about lunchtime right now. Anyway... Thank you all so much for watching the stream. If you like what you saw, feel free to follow and check out the Twitter and Discord. Links are on the sidebar of the channel. Post a lot of updates to my newest streams, and um, you can chat and stuff in the server. I also have a YouTube channel where I archive all my Twitch VODs. Same channel name, I got a lot of other Super Mario stuff. Sonic the Hedgehog, Kingdom Hearts, and a, to a whole heck more. So if that sounds cool to you, feel free to check that out. Anyway, have yourselves a fantastic day, and take care, everybody. Okay, also, I have exactly zero token coins, so that's kind of funny. Anyway, bye!